confused about the correct height to hang your chandelier above your dining table? How about pendants over a kitchen island? And is there one correct answer? It's not as cut and dried as you might think. Jackie Glass, our designer, is here to help us out and give us a bit of a lesson when it comes to the proper height. Yes, and I think it's very true. There are some gray areas. I'm going to give you some numbers today. Okay. But again, there's some flexibility, which I'll run through when we get to them. Okay, good. But So this is a recent project that I did, and we have turned it into a mural for the purpose of our demo. Yeah. And it was done by About Murals. I think they did a really great job. I feel like I'm actually in that kitchen space again. Very realistic looking. Yes. It's gorgeous actually. So let's focus on the island first. Now typically mm -hmm. typically most islands are 36 inches mm -hmm. in, in height. If you're looking at a bar height island then it would be about 42 inches. So that's okay. important too when you're thinking about where you're going to be putting your pendant lighting. Yes. Now this if you'll notice does not have pendant lighting and that was actually a choice by this oh. homeowner which was an it's a smaller space okay. and you know it was just all about sight lines right. but if we were to put a pendant I want to talk to you a little bit about the height so I'm going to give you a little test Tracy sure I want I'm going to take a pendant okay and I'm going to kind of move it up and down you're going to tell me where you think the correct height should be okay I'm all the right. boss you're the boss I'd say I'm going to start lower up, okay I'd say lower maybe there Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. I'd probably put a little bit. So the rule of thumb is, from the surface up can be anywhere from 32 to 36 inches. Okay. Now, that's contingent on the fact, how tall is the tallest mm. person in the room? That's right. How big is the pendant light? Yes. So that's really important. Okay. Now, in this case, I've kind of centered it, because this is not a very large island, and typically most islands are anywhere from 8 to 10 feet, yes. right? Yes. So for the purpose of this, you can see from a balanced percep uh, uh, perception, you can see that it actually fits very, very nicely. So you're saying you don't even need more than one pendant either? It depends again on the scale. Yes, yeah. so definitely take a look. I usually divide it in half if it's a small island and make sure that it's just slightly smaller than half. Yes. Like not, you know, of the halfway mark. Got it. But generally, if you're going to put two pendants, let's, let's go back to that 10-foot island. Yeah. And there's a sink in the center. Okay. So basically cut that sink in half mm -hmm. and then go 30 inches out on either side and then you could put two pendants. Got it. Now if you wanted to put four pendants, although I will tell you the trend is to go a little bit bigger, but if you wanted yeah. four smaller isolated pendants, yeah. you then make sure they're about 24 inches okay across yeah. and like space between and yes. also always make sure it's anywhere from six to ten inches from the edge of right. your counter because you don't want your light fixture, particularly if it's got a little bit of detail, kind of going over. Right. But very okay. important that when you're standing here, you're looking out, you are not looking at the bottom of a chandelier, that that tallest per person is clearing it. That's right. Okay, okay. really good tips. So let's now move to the All dining right. room. So dining room tables are like typically 30 inches in height. Okay. Now, if you look at this, this particular, do you notice anything about that chandelier? I feel like it's very high. Yes, it is. It might be too high, unless there are giants living here. And there could be giants there living there. There could be giants sure. living here. There, and it's also very large. It's kind of a four scale. Yes. So, again, sight lines were very important in this project. However, okay. now let's test it again. If you were to be moving that up or down, where do you think that should I land think I'm comfortably? Put it here. I don't know if this is too, this might be too low, but this feels good to me. You probably could lower it a bit. If oh, you're, yeah, if lower? You're, a little bit, yeah, because if you're basing it on the premise, you could go 32 to 36 inches. Sure. You then have enough room. And again, it again depends on yes. the style of your light fixture, right. the chandelier, as well as the person sitting, you always test. Right. Now, here's a really great tip. Use balloons. Oh, when really? When you're testing, <laughs> you know, especially if you're doing multiple, use balloons. Use balloons. Yes, and not put just them for down birthday and parties. And see if yeah. they can. Yeah. I don't know if this guy's going to stay. Yeah. I'm going to keep your, my eye on you. We've got lots of pictures there. We do. But you, before we go to the pictures, yes, I want to talk really it. quickly about lighting, light bulbs. Yes. So IKEA have a really great selection. And remember, LEDs, very efficient. Yeah. They come in cool whites now, warm, warm. whites, daylight. Yeah. Also remember you can do uh, Edison bulbs or vintage bulbs and even battery operated if you need to charge, which yeah. is really, Ooh, really great. Good. You charge it in a light bulb yeah. or in a light uh, lamp and then a couple of hours and you can use it in an area where you maybe don't want to be sticking a plug. You yes. can actually just put it into a lamp or whatever and it works really well or chandeliers. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. I love the Edison ones. I do too. Oh my gosh. They're very they warm light so though. so good. They're yeah. very warm light. Very warm. They feel like they're very Low light. Nice ambiance. Okay, let's take a look at other um, examples of 
pendants and lighting fixtures in different rooms. There you've got three, as you said, bigger. There's bigger. And bigger yeah. is better. Lots of very organic looks. This yeah. is a really clean lined look and you can see the multiples work really well there. Yes. So Next picture we have. Again, smaller. they are a little bit smaller and those are giving more of a spotlight look to that island. So again, yeah. think about that when you're selecting a pendant because you may not want a spotlight. You might want more of an overall island look. Right. Sort of we like do, this. We do a lot of, well, I call them bird cages. Yes. They're great because the sight lines are really clean. You don't have to worry about it and they're really easy to clean. They're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That's so beautiful. Domes, I like this too. Domes are hot. Yeah. Domes are hot. Sometimes they have like a gold inset. So again, it casts a really nice glow and ambiance to a room. That's yes. kind of a cool feel. Makes a One statement. One of my favorites, we were looking at that, Trace. I mean, look, yeah. love multiples. Yeah. You can either do them with like it already has its own frame or you can actually just hang them. Again, do use the balloon tip right. as a guide. I love the different levels there though with yes. those. More domes, a little yeah. more of an organic shape with a farmhouse kind of twist. Yes. Very and cool. It's a really nice look. So there's so many options out there. Yeah. Break the rules. I've given you numbers, but know that again, it's very, very personal. It is very yes. personal. So as long as you do a little test with the balloons, one tip I've never heard before. I love that. It's a good one. Use the balloons. <laughs> Thank you for that, Jack.